In this video we're gonna be working on 2600 ridge line oil fan. It should be heavy is right here, the thread is messed up there. In previous videos, a couple years ago I put in a longer bolt and it does pretty good job. It is leaking from here, but leak is very small. I'm gonna remove this oil pan and install a heli coil there. That way I'll be able to use the original oil plug. Doing heli coil while oil pan is installed, pretty small risk, but the risk that metal from heli coil or aluminum from oil pan would get in the system and damage the engine. Again, chances are very small. There is a way to do it where you get pretty much everything out, but I'd rather not risk it. To start, engine is cold. I'm gonna remove a couple nuts here some there and maybe some over there i did spray those nuts a couple days ago with liquid wrench and by the way size here is 14 millimeter <coughs> okay one came off and i used long handle ratchet and the pipe on top of it. Looks like it is coming off, but still kind of tough. So I'll spray a bit more penetrating oil. One out, two more to go. Okay, one came off, others are a bit stubborn. One of the nuts did not go good, it was getting stripped. So I bought this extractor set, 40 millimeter, deep socket. I'm gonna try to use this to get that nut loose. I used more penetrating oil, turned the vehicle on, did that a couple times to get the exhaust hot. So let's see if it's gonna work now. It was a bit tough, but I got three inch extension. So let's see if that's gonna work. Mm. Yep, that's good. I was worried about that one. This one been giving me some problems. Not too bad, but when I'm trying to remove it, sometimes it gets kind of stuck. And I'm not gonna force it out, because then I could break the bolt. So I might have to screw it in and out a couple of times. If you use an extractor socket, you, you won't be able to screw it in. So I changed to regular socket. It's out, but I don't really like the way it looks. This thread. But now I'll remove all of them. To have good access to exhaust, I'm gonna remove the cross member. Which I believe there are two bolts on each side. And size is 14 millimeter. They are same size. Same thing on this side. This one's tight, so I'll use a pipe. Cross member is off. Looks like some serious transmission fluid leaks somewhere, which will be addressed at later videos. Now I'm gonna remove this one. That's a three 14 millimeter bolts or nuts. And even though I've done it a couple times already, I'll spray more penetrating oil here and on those bolts here. I anticipate those three 14 millimeter bolts on a flange be tough too, so I'm gonna use extractor socket and slightly longer extension here. 
Okay, one of them is loosened. Let's work on the next one. If you will not get stuck here in the socket, what I usually do is I tighten it just a little bit and then I keep moving this extension with the socket or hit with a hammer and that should help. Let's move in the last one. <coughs> Now I'll use a regular 40 millimeter socket to get all those nuts off. Kind of surprised that here only nuts came out and on the front I had all the threads with nuts. Now I'm going to remove this mount and it's held by two 12 millimeter bolts. I'm not going to use extractor sockets here unless things are not going to go the way I want them to go because those shouldn't be as rusted as the ones on the exhaust. Those look really good. I don't think I'll remove those three. They look very rusted and I don't think it's really needed here, because as you can see, clearance for oil pan looks to be pretty decent. And I have good access to replace this gasket, and decent access to replace that gasket. It's kind of strange, I thought there was supposed to be something here, but it's missing here. At this time I can drain the oil. I'm gonna remove my oversized drain bolt, which I made as a temporary repair for the oil pan. It actually looks like the, it wasn't leaking, but I want to replace drain bolt anyway. So this job clearly can be done like that, but exhaust gets in the way for the video. So I'm going to try to remove those three bolts in the back. <coughs> okay. That one looks good. Okay, this is turning too. And off to the last one. <clears throat> I removed all three of those nuts successfully, not on camera, but just kept using that extractor socket and all of them came off. Threads look okay, nuts not so much, but I'm replacing all of them anyway. So now I'm gonna remove two nuts I put here, just temporary, and then I should be able to remove the exhaust. As you can see, those threads look fine. This one was definitely a pain. It looks like from that bolt, some threads are here now. So we'll see if I'll need to fix it. And here, everything looks fine too. Definitely oil leak coming from somewhere above. And it doesn't look like it's coming from oil pan. I think it's coming from that thing, the one that oil filter pulls onto. I'll deal with it in another video. Possibly small leak was here from a bolt, but maybe it wasn't. I still want to make sure I have a standard bolt here. And as I said before, this bracket here is missing. I'm gonna order one from Honda and put it in there. I'm gonna replace all those uh, gaskets. I'm gonna start with removing this cover, secured by two 10 millimeter bolts. Another one's right there. They're same length. It's like a little bit of oil here. Now I'm gonna remove those two and those two on this side. 17 millimeter bolts. I'm gonna have to put a pipe in the handle because those are really tight. <coughs> yeah. 
Now I'm going to loosen those two. All four bolts are loose, now I'm going to remove them. So now from what I'm seeing is just a bunch of, whole bunch of 10 millimeter bolts. This one's a lot longer. Also longer. Also longer. That one's longer too. I think we have about three more to go. double checked I don't see any other bolts anywhere so I think we are ready to remove and drop the pen no idea how tough it's gonna be on the bond is pretty strong I'm gonna use pry bar in this area and also remove those two so longer So maybe now it will come down. Yep. That definitely had me confused. I thought that was other part of the engine, but it's all same thing. After I removed those two, oil pan came out pretty easy. I think looks a lot better. Now I'm gonna work on the thread. That's a kit I got on Amazon. I got everything I need to make a thread here. Only thing is this drill bit. It's too big for a regular size drill. I was able to find an Amazon same drill size, but the shaft is a bit smaller. And I'll provide Amazon affiliate links for this kit and for this. So just like instructions say, if you're gonna drill out the damaged thread, make sure you do it as straight as possible. Might have to hold this because it is moving a lot. I'm gonna add a bit of oil here as well. Next step is tap this thread. This one is very important to keep this oiled, and I'm gonna use this, which will help me to keep this going straight. does look really good. I'll show you why I don't really like doing it with a pen still in the vehicle. Look how much of small aluminum pieces there. Now I understand with oil more than likely if you put some oil there most of it if not all of it gonna get out of the oil pan but there is still a tiny bit of a risk so I'd rather do it with oil pan removed. Now I'm gonna slowly remove it. It's a good practice when doing that, sometimes go back and then forward. I did it a couple times, not too much, just because there was no pressure putting it on. Just to make sure the threads are clean, I'll spray a bit of parts cleaner in the thread. I'm gonna install this 
helicoil or whatever it's called. I'm not sure if it really matters. Everyone have different opinions. But I'll put some Loctite on this thread. Make sure the coil is inside, not sticking out of here. And the last step is we're gonna use this punch tool that was supplied to knock off that piece at the end. I'll wait a bit before I put the drain plug in. That's a piece from coil. You don't want that in engine. This part looks fairly clean, but I'll still use blade to prep it. Looks pretty good. Now I'll use brake parts cleaner to clean those edges more. Now I'm gonna try to insert the drain plug. Looks good. In a perfect world, I'd rather those threads not stick out, but that shouldn't be a problem. Before install, I'm gonna also use air compressor to clean this area, just to make sure there is no particles left from installing the thread. This side definitely gonna need some work as far as cleaning the gasket. Now I'm gonna use brake parts cleaner and clean all those edges again. Now I'm gonna put the sealer, which is on the bond. I might have put too much. I think I opened this a bit big, but should be fine. So now oil pan is secured and as I said before, I put a bit too much seal into the gasket there. Even if whether you put too much or not, it's always recommended to wait at least overnight before you add oil and start the engine. Now I'm gonna put this cover back on. Now I'm gonna insert four bolts, they're 17 millimeter side, and they go two on this side and two on that other side. Now I'm gonna install this piece, it goes to the oil pan and other side to the flange or somewhere in that area. In case you'll need it, here's a part number for this piece and two bolts. And this one goes to oil pan and the other one to the other piece. Goes like this. I'm still confused what's supposed to be here. Based on what I've seen online, it's pretty much a useless piece. If you know what goes here, let me know. This side is extremely rusted, so I'll use some penetrating oil there. And I'll use anti-seize for this one as well. Could have used for oil pan side too, but I don't think it's really necessary. Size of those two bolts is 12 millimeter. This one's a bit longer than this one. I 
Now I'm gonna try to prep this area. I know for sure that two of the threads I have are messed up, or to be more specific, one of the threads actually messed up, other one, not that attached to it, is so round that I couldn't remove it or do anything else with it. So I'm gonna install two threads here. Here's the part number for the threads. Each one costs six dollars. That's why I didn't get three of them. I tried to save a little bit of money. I'll start putting one in and I'll put anti-seize on it as well. The one with bad thread doesn't want to go in, but I'll try to get it in as much as I can. It actually looks good now. It's bending straight. Just to show you the one that were messed up, this one not seem to be in decent shape, but threads at the bottom look bad. That's the other one where the knot is pretty much round. I'm gonna reuse this one, just because knot is in a decent shape, and I'll save six dollars. Now let's try to remove this gasket. Nice and easy. Here's replacement. Again, replacement. Okay, it's out. This one definitely sucked more. Here's replacement. This covered the part number, but in the description of the video, I'll provide full part number for those. Now I'm gonna start loosely attaching all the knots, but before doing that, I'll actually put anti-seize on all those threads. I'll start attaching it there. And about new set of 25 knots. I think you'll need about nine or so, but here's a part number for them. And again, again, I'm reusing this thread because it's still in good condition. And now this is pretty good too. All connections are loosely attached. Now I'm gonna tighten this one first. 14 millimeter. Those don't have to be extremely tight since now there is a crusher gasket or crusher washer style thing. So when you hear that metal washer crush, that's when you are tight enough. You might not hear it on the video, but I did hear the washer gasket crush. I'm gonna secure this one. So two bolts that are 12 millimeter. Drain plug is hand tightened all the way. I'll do maybe half a turn more with a ratchet just to make sure it's tight enough. Now I'm gonna install the cross member, crossbar, I don't know exact name of this piece. And even though I didn't have issues with removing those bolts, I'll still add some anti-seize on them. And I'm gonna tighten all four bolts. Size is 14 millimeter. Now if it's time for oil change, replace the oil filter, add oil, start the vehicle, check for leaks. If it's not time for oil change, you can just add oil, check all this area for leaks all around. If there are leaks, obviously you'll have to remove oil pan again and 
reseal it with Honda Bond. I leave Amazon affiliate links for parts and tools I used in this video. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to reply as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. See you next time.